Hello everyone! I just finished my sketchbook. There are pretty much no pages left in there that are blank. And so I wanted to show you my completed sketchbook. I started this like two years ago maybe? But I didn't draw very much at first. Like most of it's stuff from this year. So you'll get to see my finished drawings. Let's be good. Here's one of Sam that kind of got smudged down there somehow. Because it was just in pencil. It's an old drawing. And here's this picture based on a Disney short. If you've ever seen, a, if you've not seen the short, it's called The Lonesome Ghosts. And it is said to have inspired the Ghostbusters, so that's cool. <laughs> it's Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, and they're all exterminating ghosts. I'd never finished this one, but it was going to be Joopy with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and Joopy with an iPod that I never finished. <laughs> And this one I actually did finish. It's Sam, and he's in a fedora, and he's looking so, so epic. And then here, this was, I think, at the beginning of last school year's, almost two years ago. And I was in tennis, and I hated tennis. And that can be displayed through this picture with really bad anatomy and posing. <laughs> here's some fan art of the Haunted Mansion I was doing. Disney's Haunted Mansion, the ride. If you've ever ridden it, it's, it's amazing. You should ride it sometime if you haven't. Here's a ghost that's really popular but was never put in the ride. <laughs> he was in the ride at one point but his effect didn't work so they took him out. He's called the Hatbox Ghost. And here's a picture of Joopy and Sam. I was getting a little better at anatomy at this point with the legs. And here's fan art that I was going to do for somebody but never finished. There's all their characters eating food. Um, and then there's a little pink one in the corner there. Um, then I never finished this one either and I'm really sad because I was liking this one. It's random like a sir and my characters are wearing mustaches and the Harry Potter characters are wearing mustaches and, the, and they're all having monocles and it, it was it was a cool drawing. This was it. I made these at the at a Disney cruise that I went on once. It was an amazing vacation and they taught us how to draw Disney characters. So I learned Donald Minnie, and I also learned how to draw Stitch. I think Stitch is my favorite one that I learned. And then here is a picture that I've never finished, Toast Narwhals. And it was back when my hair was long, so you know that was a long time ago. <laughs> and here's when I decided to start trying getting better at people. But this drawing, oh my gosh, I was kind of proud of this when I first did it, but look, his head is practically the same size as his upper torso, and it's like, no. No, that's not how people look. He looks like a bobblehead. <laughs> and then here's when I was coming up with Sketch. He's one of my characters. I don't draw him very much anymore, but he was cool. I was trying to learn how to draw one of my favorite Disney characters, but I just didn't like how his chin turned out, so I kind of stopped. <laughs> He's from Hunchback of Notre Dame, if you haven't seen it. This, okay, this is when it starts getting into this school year. <laughs> I was going to draw me and friends as Pokemon, but then... I changed it a little bit, and then this is the final product of that. <laughs> she should have been a Sneasel. That is my only regret with this drawing. She should have been a Sneasel, not an Espeon. Um, and then we have random comics about things that happened. You can, you can pause it and read it if you'd like. And it was fun. And then here, this was... Probably one of my favorite drawings for a period of time. Because A, I drew people and they turned out decent. And B, it was just a fun inside joke. This was a comic that actually happened to on a cold fall day. And <laughs> it was fun. And then here's one of my friends' Pokemon that wasn't in the other picture because we didn't know what Pokemon she'd be because she was the only one out of our group that never played Pokemon, so we finally figured out, we brainstormed, and we showed her the designs of Pokemon, and she liked this one. I forgot what it's called. But, um, then I drew, I drew her as a Pokemon reading, because she likes writing and reading a lot. And here's me as an Eevee, just, I don't know, walking confidently? <laughs> and then here's another comic. You can pause it and read it if you want. It was based on dialogue from a video we made of us playing Slender. And I think that was one of my favorite parts of the video, just because it was funny. I'm going to explain this comic, okay? You can pause and read it if you'd like. But 
what happened, it was his birthday, and so we decided to collaborate a birthday card, and we'd all draw pictures on the front and stuff, but we needed him to sign it, and so we kind of kidnapped him at the beginning of launch so he could sign it, and he got really confused. And there's an Eevee fist pumping a Sylveon, because that Sylveon won me my first Pokemon battle, so that was fun. This was also based roughly on things that happened in real life. Whenever I turn into a detective, she turns into a Scotty dog, because that's just the way it is. And then this, I drew this when things were kind of getting stressful in the drama department. <laughs> and then it was right before exams, too, because we drew this on the 21st, apparently. And so I was just not very happy at that point in time. <laughs> like, that represents me when I first started making YouTube videos. Do you recognize this guy? <laughs> and then that's me now, just kind of on the floor. <laughs> I'm not really going to explain this one other than she was typing Charmander in when we were texting each other and it came out chairmander so I drew a chairman. <laughs> this is just I was sketching Eevee and a couple of Eevee Lucians in Christmas but I never finished it. And then I drew this one on Christmas Day I think. The anatomy that I drew for myself is so bad. But other than that I'm still having that head as big as a torso problem there. And then there's Eevee and shiny Umbreon. Oh this is one of my favorite pages. It's Olaf with a bunch of quotes. Here's a, a picture that I never finished. There was gonna be like a moon in the background and like foggy clouds and stuff, but I never finished it. And then here's when I was designing my pony character. I haven't really done much with her yet, but it was fun to try and draw a pony. It was actually really hard. <laughs> it was challenging. And then here is when the third season of Sherlock was airing and I was like, yeah! And then here is when I was designing a character for this story that I was writing. And he's still one of my favorite characters to this day. And here's just another picture with Phantom and this other guy named Caden. And if you want to read that story, I finished it. I'll link to it. I'll also link to my DeviantArt page so you can just see all the art that I do. Um, here's the- see, what happened was I realized that two of my friends in my group played violin and then the other two played saxophone, so I'm like, we could form a band. And we would be so cool, and we could call it the Ace of Spades, and this is what our album cover would look like, but they just didn't buy it. <laughs> I think we would have made a good band, but th they begged to differ. And then here's another comic that I lazily drew. You can pause and try to read it if you want, but all these comics are on my DeviantArt, so you can read them there too if you'd like. Oh, this was for a speech project. We had to come up with a superhero. So I came up with Platypi Man. Because he's a platypus. This was a picture I made the one day that it snowed. I drew me and my friends building a snowman. We th went outside and threw snowballs at each other until the security guard told us to stop during lunch. It was fun. It's just me just standing next to a bunch of symbols. If you can guess all of these symbols, you win nothing, but I'll be very happy. I just some random birds. I like this picture though because I remember I finished these two on the plane ride back from the New York trip that I went on with my orchestra. So here's one of my favorite pictures too. Um, it was... I came up with this thing where me and my two friends would solve cases, and we all had powers. Like, I was Speedy, and I was the master detective, and she was Scotty, and she was sneaky like a ninja, and then this is Sneaky, and she's Speedy. Here is the cast of this story that I'm currently writing. Oh, here's another thing from the on the case thing. He's a side character. And when I showed this to the guy he was based off of, he just kind of facepalmed. And then here's Bastion, again, from that story that I'm writing. These were designs for this video that I was working on. You guys may or may not have seen it, but I did release it, so. And then here's another character that I made. His name is Victor Knapp, and he is part of a role play I'm doing with some friends. And then here, this is my favorite thing in the whole book, okay? This, this took forever, and the background is just one marker, lines of just one marker going like this over and over and over again, but it turned out great. It's, it's fan art from Wicked. If you haven't seen Wicked, then you should, because it's good. And then here's the last thing in here. I never finished it, but... It's an inside joke. See, we three were at the Spring Orchestra concert. We, at one point, were watching one of the orchestras after me and her played in our orchestra. And the band director, he was turning to, maybe it was the cello section and doing the, like, the heart thing, you know? But she thought he was doing potato. So now we do potato at each other. And that was my sketchbook. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!